When you compare um, the US or Hawaii with, with Germany, it's, um, the people are more relaxed. Uh, in Germany, it's, um, you have to be on time, straight to the point. Um, and here it's more, yeah, it's more relaxed. People are relaxed. The, the feeling is, um, you feel like you are in a holiday. So the beach with the weather, it's all beautiful, all okay. So yeah. Life in Hawaii is really different for sure. I think everybody kind of has this expectation that living here is just like being on vacation here. So you know, you're going to the beach all the time, you're living in like a nice fancy hotel, and really that's not true. So it was a little bit of an adjustment to kind of be somewhere that is such a vacation destination, but be living your real life, you know, still going to school, still doing homework, not just spending, you know, every day at the beach because that's not reality. So I think kind of balancing that expectation with what is actually real is <laughs> a challenge. The environment here is is much more different from Waipahu because it's more like a town um, and I'm so used to that circle and that bubble there but then coming here it's like you're going far away um, you're not really on a actual campus you're like going from different areas which is really cool because you get a different experience um, but other than that yeah it's like it's a different vibe different community sort of feeling if that makes sense yeah like, like this is like you know we're in the heart of the city I guess like there's more buildings like condos like why and I doesn't it's just all housing you know so, like more beaches sand of course palm trees you know you can see the sun more a little bit <laughs> so like the major difference that I noticed between like California and here like I mean there wasn't really a culture shock because like I mean a lot of people are Hawaiian here and like I'm kind of like I'm Filipino and like there's a lot of like I was just like it wasn't that different but I was very like I lived at Loa my first year and like mold was definitely kind of new to me the musk and like just like just like the living conditions here was way different than what I was used to and um yeah but like other than that like the people are awesome here and like culturally it's really fun here like there's something there's always something new to do Yes, I experienced a very big culture shock when I first came here. Uh, one of the big things that I noticed is, especially when you're introducing yourself to new people, everybody hugs you. That's just kind of the way the culture works here. You're like, oh, hey, auntie, how's it going? Sorry. And then you just kind of like hug everyone. And that's the other thing is like everybody's auntie, everybody's uncle, everybody's cousin. So I, the whole kind of family dynamic is everyone knows everyone. And that's really different from anything I'd ever experienced before. Yeah, the homeless people are different. Because we also have homeless people in Germany, but um, the state take care of them. So they give them food or drink or um, a place where they can sleep overnight. And here they are really ugly. I think they are um, mentally disturbed a little bit. So it's, it's crazy. I don't like to walk through the street, so I go really fast to the class, yeah. <laughs> well, the biggest change for me was to see the homeless too. It was really like a shock to see them like walking on the street, like uh, not being taken care of. Um, also, it's so different go grocery shopping here. It's like a huge difference at doing it at home and here it's way more expensive and they have like weird substitute for everything like things you should do yourself they already made it for you but made it like five times weirder here <laughs> oh everything's like so processed here back home like Austria is more chilled than Germany but still Hawaii is so much more relaxed and the whole lifestyle is different and in Austria you can't wear like slippers or hot pants or crop tops to university, that's a no-go. Uh, we wear long jeans and shirts and closed shoes. So you know how in Hawaii we call, we call like those slippers, yeah. slippers, but for people from the mainland they call them flip-flops, so, or sandals. So that's, I guess that's like, for me that's like a funny thing, you know, because sometimes I, I call it Oh, you have to wear, you know, you have to wear your slippers. You have to bring your slippers. And they're like, what is slippers? Slippers for like, for the winter, you know? Like, that's flip-flops, you know? It's like, those things, you know? It's definitely easier. Uh, I was in Florida before I came here, so I could compare to like, the life in Florida and here. And it's way much like, more chill here. Well, definitely when you like, you can just 
go for a bike ride and people will like say hi to you uh, like everyone is just so open and nice to you and also with the tourists like people have to be nice here so you can like go to a store and they're just like welcoming you with open arms so that's also one of the things Actually, the first time I met my roommate's boyfriend, so they're both from Big Island, he uh, was, came to our apartment and I was just like sitting at the kitchen table and my roommate comes to like introduce him to me and he goes like, oh, hey, how are you? And I was like, what? <laughs> and there was kind of this awkward moment where he had one expectation of introducing himself and I had another and it just created kind of an awkward moment. <laughs> I grew up like with multiple cultures, so it's interesting how I'm learning so much more about things that of other cultures that don't use I don't usually see here um, for the Japanese I always see them in Waikiki or something like that so I'm used to seeing being exposed to their culture but as for maybe European cultures um, it was interesting to hear like learn more about what their what they do and how different it is from here especially I guess the way for one example I guess would be like how to pronounce words <laughs> that that's really interesting for me because I know the way they speak it's like I'm I'm so amazed by the different accents and all those kind of things because I've, I've never been exposed to those type of accents before and I'm trying to understand it and especially for me because I grew up here and I grew up with like the pigeon Creole language here it's it's very interesting like how I have to present myself differently um, in order to like get through that communication barrier so in Germany Women are in management positions, yeah, and um, also when you have child, children, um, then the companies uh, take care of them, so you can go to work whenever you want, can um, take your children with you and give it there in a place and they take care of them. Yeah. My country definitely does empower women, we have like a women rate in companies so depending on the brand 40 to 50 percent of um, management positions in companies has to be women um, and we also have a longer maternity leave yeah and we can we can get our children into kindergarten from the company and they will also allow it to uh, work less hours if you have to care for children well, Sweden is much better empowering women. Uh, well, basically in Scandinavia, we're much more equal, uh, although we do still have differences. But here it's way like bigger like difference between men and women. Uh, but I would say in Sweden, we have a lot of movements that like, you know, big parades and stuff uh, pretty often. So that's one of the things we empower women more than here equal pay and like just let us be women and like free the nipple and like all stuff like that everything <laughs>